I acknowledge all of you. Representing, I feel in some way, your father, my late brother, Chief Reg Luda. Thank you, Carolyn. My dear sister, Jean. Representing my other siblings who are not here. English, Jean, I love you. My brother in law, Norman. Representing the brother-in-laws and in-laws here at Yves Norm. I follow a little bit and a lot. I go tell you this, some of the examples you will English. I was only given 10, 10 minutes and uh, take 10 minutes just to say that, but it's important. <laughs> I do that and I acknowledge the leadership never seen in my host guide. I thought they only had guys, guides of goose camps and moose hunting camps, but John Long, Dr. John Long is my guide here today. I it's me or John, Dr. John Long, and to Lori and McLaren who's done a lot to facilitate what's happening here. When my grandfather, Chief Andrew Wesley, 
met with the commissioners on the shores of James Bay back in August in 2005. I never knew my grandfather, but I feel I'm getting to know him by knowing a little bit about the historic relationship that exists between you folks in Ontario and Canada and us as Creek people through the James Bay Treaty, Treaty Number 9. When you go home or sometime soon, just Google the James Bay Treaty or Treaty Number 9, you'll find out, you'll see it, and you'll know a little bit what I'm talking about. When he signed that treaty, I would have never thought that one over 100 years later, we continue to foster the relationship that he envisioned back then, to the, today, 2012. That we, people as Canadians, Ontarians, First Nations, we got a long way to go. We've learned from each other and we got a long way to go. And I'm looking forward to that continuing partnership with you. And think about it, that that treaty laid that foundation. To the people here that are graduating, I understand there's a few hundred of you. Maybe one day you'll end up in our community along the James Bay Coast. We recruit teachers, other professionals, especially teachers to, to teach in our learning institutions. Maybe someday you'll be living with us, you'll be learning from us, you'll be part of our family. If you're looking for an exciting opportunity, check it out. <laughs> if you like snow snowmobiling and canoeing and uh, wide open spaces, check us out. A lot of people have come and see us when they thought it would be one year to, to teach in our schools. A lot of people have stayed, not for two years or for five years, maybe ten years. Some people have married into our communities. For, it, for the uh, educators who teach these people, hats off to you. You're seeing the word, the word, the rewards of your of your efforts. Education is important, and we strive for that as people. We strive for that as, as family members. I went to school and through a residential school system, taken taken from home at a very young age. Little, little did I know then through all what, what we went through, through that system, that some of us would emerge the way we do in terms of leadership and helping our people. But I'm very, very proud of that, that I was able to overcome that and do what I'm able to do, working with, with, my, with my people. You hear stories in the media, you hear stories in, across the country. Back in 2005 or six. The community of Kasechua was in the front page news not only locally but across the country in terms of the water quality or lack of in their community. Myself and the chief back then, Leo Friday, made national headlines to bring attention to the government and to the people that thought all is well. That the basic human right of water was something that we were struggling with every day. Fast forward to 2012 and all the efforts that we try to do to bring that, it took time, it's taking time. Finally, a bill is being introduced in the House to deal with that particular issue. So sometimes you fight and you talk and you, and you try to do things. As much as you expect change right away, like next week, next month, it takes four years, five years, six years before you start seeing things change. Less than a year ago, you heard in the national news, you heard in, in, on, on your TVs, a community at Wapiscat First Nation crying out for help because they, they were in a state of emergency, because they didn't have any housing, because people were living in tents. Some of the general Canadian population, and I'm sure nobody from here, were emailing me and telling me, get real sheep, get off your ass, what the heck are you doing? Honestly, I was getting eight emails. 
And we're trying to make a difference because people who are hurting, people who are living in very poor conditions, and we're trying to tell a story so that one day we can have a good quality home, so that one day we'll live in good communities as well. We're not going to see any change in five weeks and five, in, in five months. Maybe these efforts again will take another five or six years before we see some, some change in terms of uh, what we're fighting for today. It takes a long time, but we're, we, main, we, we remain steadfast, we remain committed, we remain fighting for our people because our people deserve it. And I'm looking to you as partners, just like my grandfather envisioned back in 1905, that we continue that path together, that we walk together, that we work with each other, that we understand each other, that I understand you, that you understand me. Reminds me of a few, uh, a few uh, about a year ago. I talked to the Premier and I said, you know what, Mr. Premier, I want to talk to you about the treaty. I want, I want you to learn about the treaty. When you're talking about us, we talk about the treaty and you're probably wondering, what's he talking about? I wish you would forget about that. That's over 100 years ago. Just talk about real stuff today, you're probably thinking, right, Mr. Premier? I want to talk to you about that because I think you need to know what we're talking about. It took me a long time. Finally, said, you know what? That makes a little bit of sense. Let's start talking. So now we're entering into a dialogue around the table with Ontario on the street. I'm excited. And they ought to be excited too. And you ought to be excited a little bit me too. So these are the kinds of things that, that we deal with. These are the kinds of things that we're talking about. These are the kinds of things that we're excited about. Because we want to make some change. But only for us for us, our, our people. But by extension, by virtue of the treaty of a long time ago, where we envision a relationship, bringing both of us together at some point, so that we can share a common history, your history, our history, together a history. I do. So I'm very, very proud to be here once again. Not once again, because I haven't received a doctorate before, what my doctorate. <laughs> Very, very proud to be here this one time. <laughs> like we were saying in our language, it's Jimmy Rich. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you all.